So some good news for those of you that applied for the H-1B visa earlier in the year, the USCIS just conducted a second H-1B lottery for those of you that were not selected the first time. And guess what? There's some good news for those of you that were not selected. We'll talk about that and explain to you what that lottery means and what will be your next steps if and when you are selected. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. And in this video, we'll talk about the second H-1B lottery. This just happened a few days ago. Quite a few of our clients and people that watch this channel were selected as well. And now they wanna know what the next steps are, why is there a second lottery, and what to expect next in the next few months. If you're interested in this topic, make sure you watch this video all the way until the end. And also, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And also, if you need help with your particular immigration case, all you have to do is send me a text right here, 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you. So USCIS just announced a few days ago that they're going to be conducting this random H-1B lottery. This happened just a few days ago. And what happened is that those people that were not selected the first time in March have the opportunity to try again. And quite a few people were selected this time as well. This is important because a lot of you that are registered in March and were not selected really had to find other alternatives to the H-1B visa because there was no guarantee that they're going to have a second lottery. Well, guess what? This just happened now. And a lot of you that were not able to get it before have the opportunity to try this again. So what does it mean now? So if you're selected in the second lottery, just like happened in the first lottery, you now have three months to file your H-1B visa. That means that your employers will have to prepare all the paperwork, prepare the H-1B forms, and submit them with USCIS. Typically, you have 90 days after the selection. During this time, you have to collect all the paperwork to prove the salary, your education, about the position. Remember, H-1B visa is a specialty occupation. So the employer that registered you in March and now is subject to the second lottery, you have to make sure that the position is a specialty occupation, which means that the job must require a degree and also that the applicant actually holds a degree that is matching or similar to what the position is supposed to do. Now, just because you're selected in the second lottery doesn't mean that you're going to get the H-1B visa. You understand that what was selected is that your number was picked and now you have the opportunity to file the H-1B visa. Quite a few are confused that thinking that just because you're selected in this H-1B lottery means that you have the visa. No. Now you have the opportunity to actually file the case and after you file the case, UCIS is going to examine your petition, they're going to review it for a few months, and then they potentially will require some more evidence. Quite a few cases request, quite a few cases get requests for evidence. The common requests for evidence that we see in H-1B cases involve regarding the salary, involve regarding whether it's in fact a specialty occupation, meaning that the duties of the job don't meet the requirements of the Occupational Outlook Handbook, which controls all the positions in the H-1B scope. So, again, once you meet all these requirements and UCIS determines that your case is qualified, then they'll approve your petition, and then it's not over yet. If the applicant is inside the United States in legal status, you'll be able to change your status from whatever status you're in, most commonly as a student, to the H-1B visa. Remember, the H-1B visa starts in October, fiscal year of FY 2024, and remember, October is right around the corner, we're just a few months away, and this lottery was perfect. Those of you guys that were not sure if you'll be able to get the H-1B visa this year, well now you know if you're selected, you'll be able to start working in October 1st, 2023, which is the first day of the H-1B visa fiscal year. Now, with this information in mind, if you are selected and your employer is not aware of what they have to do, it is important to act really, really fast because if you wanna be able to start working in October, now is the time to start filing the petition because you were selected. So if you do need help with your specific H-1B petition, all you have to do is send me a text, 619-483-4549. We specialize in H-1B visas and all business cases. So good luck to the winners. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.